to 442 Desire Street on a corner lot at the corner of North Dorjanois. And we are, you know, first of all, it's a beautiful day. Like, this is a beautiful day and a great time to be in this neighborhood. This is, this is now the most accessible neighborhood in the city in terms of price point, nice homes, and location to downtown. Like, you can be literally, uh, our owner has timed it, nine minutes from here to Canal Boulevard. You can do that. And yet you're not paying Canal Boulevard prices. So I just want to show you a couple things around here. You can see there's several renovated homes, newer construction there. And we're at the back of the street because off that way, there's a set of train tracks. And then down the side street. By the way, y'all, this is, these are probably some of the best roads in the entire city as well. Freshly paved. You can see the corner lot, which we'll check that out. So the house here, it's 863 square feet of living space. All brick construction, several updates on the inside, but really it's, it's bright, it's open. Let us go check out the inside. There's a just quick note coming up to the house. It has just a, a cute little front porch here. This is an iron railing. And this is so you have your storm door, the gated door, and it's just such a beautiful day. You can just keep that open. And you come inside, and you have this wonderful open space. Lots of light. So this can be, the way the floor plan works, y'all, if you wanted, you can make a second bedroom here because we feel like the previous owner had this and they just opened it up because you got a sitting room here, you have a closet there. So if you want to make two bedrooms, you can make this happen. The reason why, uh, and you also have another storage area here, which is nice. The reason why we think the previous owner did this is because look how, like, like I said, open area. This would make a great rental property, first time buyer, uh, or even like a weekend getaway. Like, hey, you live out in the country somewhere, you're in Mississippi, you want to do you want to do the New Orleans thing, even an Airbnb possibly, this house gives you that possibility uh, for price point, for accessibility, and just condition. So see the kitchen area, you have gas cooktop, cabinets, refrigerator, dining area, and then here's where we think the, the previous living room was right here, but this is a cute little sitting area. It kind of flows right back to the living room over here and off in the corner. So you have some updated tiles. The AC is five to six years old, uh, as well as the hot water heater is brand new. Here's a bedroom closet there. Again, lots of light and bathroom. And you can see how this has been updated. Nice jetted tub and shower combo. And a little linen closet area. So really for the size of the home, you have plenty of storage. And what's really cool is the backyard. Let's go check that out. Okay, so off the dining room, you have these little accordion doors. There's one on, on the behind the armoire here. This is your laundry room. Behind this veneer is a is a is the hot water heater, but you have hookups right here. So if you want stackable, uh, you can certainly have that. And then backyard. So this is where this is where the corner lot is key. You got a really nice yard. And over here. So this is a storage shed, lawnmower, gardening equipment. Double gate. So you have off street parking. Beauty of the corner lot, right? Just pull in one, two vehicles, however many you really need, because this is nice firm ground. No flood insurance required. All brick. And that's it, y'all. So look, if you have an agent, of course, let them know that you want to see it. It's a cute house that gives a, somebody a lot of possibilities for rental income, for 
being just a, a crash pad, uh, a vacation home, spending time in the city, or even in some Airbnb type. Uh, so if you have an agent, let them know you want to see it. If you don't have an agent, let us know you want to see it. We are happy to show it to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Till next time, bye-bye.